Good morning, everyone. I am just now getting ready to leave for work. I had to finish making my lunch and getting dressed and getting ready. And then I was trying really hard to find my external hard drive because I got a ton of candle orders um, overnight, pretty much. And I have to print new candle things, like my designs. and. They're all on my external hard drive and I can't find it anywhere. So fingers crossed that it's at work and maybe I just left it there like two weeks ago. Um, I'm gonna have to look all around my desk so I'm kind of nervous but I have to stop at the post office on the way to work anyway so that'll be fun. Great news, my external hard drive was in my car. By the way, if anyone likes dubstep and geekiness, this is like one of my favorite songs. I don't know if you can read it, so I'll link it down below. But it's on SoundCloud. It's amazing. So good. Happy Wednesday, hump day, you guys. I actually got to leave a little bit early today. It's about 5.05. .05. Normally I leave at 5.30. However, my diet that I'm on they send me food monthly and last month they sent it to me and I guess because it's a huge box they don't leave it at your doorstep especially if you live in an apartment complex because the risk of people taking it so last month when they delivered I got home to a note on my door that said hey it's at the front office but my front office closes at 6 and I get off work at 5 30 and I work really far from my house so it usually takes me an hour to get home so I don't even get there till 6:30. and luckily someone happened to be in the building still and so I was banging on the door please let me have my package because it's one of those packages that has dry ice in it so if the food is left I guess overnight like the dry ice will melt and the food will be ruined so luckily there was someone there last time however I asked my boss if I could leave a little bit early today because I saw the package was being delivered today and I'm assuming it's in the front office again and I don't want to risk my food going bad overnight because of reasons. So the plan is to get home as fast as I can to get the package before they close. Mission accepted. Sweet, they left it at my front door. That's pretty great. So now I don't have to worry about the office being closed because they close in five minutes. <laughs> What's wrong? Do you have to go to the bathroom? Is this what you want? Is this what you want, Millie girl? Do you want to go to the bathroom? Yes. Tell me now, tell me now, who wants to go to the bathroom now? Tell me now, tell me now. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so I took this one outside and she didn't pee, but she pooped. That makes me nervous because that probably means that she peed somewhere in the house. Let me see. <gasps> yep, right here. Millie, why is your scoop over there? What have you been doing all day? Her scoop is here. We leave the door open, by the way, for her, just in case she would have to go to the bathroom, and she still ends up peeing in the house. She'll be 15 in August, so Millie is a very old lady, and we try to be as accommodating as possible when it comes to taking her out to the bathroom, but with my schedule and with Ian's schedule, there's gonna be like a five hour span where no one's home, maybe four to five hours. Um, so we try to leave the door open so she'll pee outside, but she just hasn't been getting it and she pees on the carpet, and then I come home and I have to clean it, and I am so worried when we move out of this apartment, it's just gonna be hell. So does does anyone have an experience with an older dog and any advice on what to do <laughs> at this point? I'll try anything. You guys, I'm having the most fun because my food that came in that box comes with dry ice. So now I'm just having a dry ice party, but like, look, what? Oh God, it's so cool. It's so cool right now. It's so cool. It's like the Pensieve in Harry Potter. Like it kind of looks like the same texture. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Don't worry, I'm not gonna stick my hand in there. I understand you can't touch dry ice. What was really cool is like a second ago, like, oh look, it's like making like bubbles. That is so neat. I'm sorry that I'm like forcing you guys to watch dry ice right now. Now it's like super flat. Ooh, my bowl is like freezing. What? So cool. Carbon dioxide everywhere. Sorry if you guys can hear me blowing on the camera. Um, yeah, when I put water in it a second ago, it looked really neat. Like, hold on. Look. 
Look how cool it is. I can't deal with it. It is so cool. And you can see all the bubbling action that's happening right down here. I feel like this is a crazy science experiment that I get to do in the comfort of my own home. I'm so excited. Look at it. Look at it. It's so weird. It looks like clouds. I'm sorry that I'm making you guys watch this. I'm just so excited. It's so cool! It is so cool. Like I have my own pensive at home slash cauldron. This is what I wanted to do for um, Halloween. I wanted to have like in my punch bowl, like I wanted to fill this with punch. Like I bought this bowl specifically for Halloween. I wanted to fill it with punch and then put dry ice in it and then it would do this and you could drink the punch and it made me excited. But uh, when I went to the store on Halloween, they were out of dry ice. So that didn't get to happen for me. It was kind of sad. Reducto. Oh. Wrong context for that spell, but I don't care. It's cool. So cool. I can't stop looking at it. Okay, so it's already like 9.15ish and I finished eating dinner and Christine came over to hang out for a little while and I showed her my, um, my videos from Orlando when I went to Disney and Universal. And now I'm just sitting here um, and I was hoping that Millie was gonna do it. Maybe she is. She keeps coming up to me and like, barking like crazy and I have no idea what she wants like I've taken her to the bathroom I fed her I gave her a cookie she just keeps barking I have no idea what she wants so I'm not sure how many of you guys actually watch PewDiePie but um, I'm actually not subscribed to him on my daily channel but he put out a video um, was it yesterday it's, yeah yesterday about um, I guess somehow his earnings from 2014 leaked online and there's like dozens of articles who are posting what he made last year and so he made this really 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 amazing video in response to um his earnings getting leaked i actually think that if you have a second it's only six minutes long definitely watch it it's it's a great video and it's a great response and i definitely have a lot more respect for him now not that i didn't respect him before because i definitely think he's awesome and i follow his girlfriend on youtube and you know Keep doing what you're doing. If it works, it works. But this video made my respect just skyrocket for him. All right, so Ian just texted me and told me he's working pretty late tonight. Um, he had to cover for someone who had to leave early, so he won't be home till much later. So I'm actually gonna go to sleep. So um, I just wanted to say good night to you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.